Is this Seattle's worst server? Wow, I have never been treated nearly this horribly by someone in the service industry ever. Is this Seattle's rudest server? Rude, rude, rude. We got three roots there. It's bad customer service. Rude will not be returning. You be the judge. Check these comments out and decide. Good Lord woman. She seems like the kind of person who doesn't mind giving shitty customer service, but God forbid she ever gets bad service. If she was curt, surly, and rude. We are in studio today, which means we're in the house, obviously. And we're set up fancy with the microphone on, with the light behind you, because we had a message to share. Because pretty much we experienced one of the worst servers or waitresses or whatever you want to call them in Seattle. The service was pretty much garbage. And apparently we've learned that you're not allowed to complain about service, which I didn't know that was a thing. So let's get into it. Welcome to Mike's. Where are we at? Mike's? We're at Mike's. Uh, it's a chilly place. Yeah, chilly hot dogs. One of the oldest and finally here. Mm -hmm. Chilly <laughs> Mike's Chili Parlor or Mike's Chili Tavern. I think it's Chili Parlor over in Ballard. It's apparently a Seattle institution. It's been around for 100 years. And if I can get the clips off YouTube, I'll show you the 100 year celebration here. If not, you're just seeing me. Um, they've been featured on diners, drive-ins, and dives with Guy Fieri. Oh yeah, cool guy. We sat next to his poster there. It was autographed. So you think they're pretty much a hot spot. Now, they're a dive bar. And Natasha and I learned that dive bars apparently have their own set of rules with how they can treat you. And if Natasha and I experience good service at a dive bar, well, more than likely, they're not a real dive bar. They're not real. They're not really divey-divey. They're just artificial. They're a corporate dive bar or whatever nonsense you want to call that. And this is not a knock on their food. That's entirely different. Um, I don't eat meat, as you may know, so I couldn't have their chili or their meat. Natasha had a burger. We were there for a short period of time, so not a knock on their food and not a knock on the restaurant itself. We want to see them succeed. 100 years, good for them. May they have 100 more years. And wanted to read some comments we found on Yelp, on Google, which we should have read prior. Also, the comments to me venting and expressing my concern on Reddit. Um, I've learned Reddit is probably not the best place to feel validated because people jump on you for everything. But let's read those, shall we? So let's talk about what we experienced when we went in there. And then we'll get into the really awesome comments. We go into the place instantly. Not even a, hey, how's it going? Just straight up, IDs, please. Not a smile. Very cold. IDs, please. Okay. Whatever. I get it. And on the menu, if I can get the screenshot to work here, we were first surprised by a $58 or $56 grilled cheese. Like, what's up with that? That can't possibly be right. Um, so when they came to the table to take our orders, we had two questions. First, hey, is this uh, menu accurate? Is it a typo? To which we were met with a very quick, yeah, is it on there? Okay, thanks for making me feel welcome. Then... She also said something along the lines of, well, it's on the board behind me up there. Okay, well, is it really $58, $56? By this point in time, we're made to feel like we're unwelcome here. I don't want to ask. There's no smile on her face. Then Natasha asked, hey, what kind of IPA do you have? And wow, we did not know the IPAs were apparently you can't ask for at a dive bar. Anyone see my rock climbing shoes? She seemed pretty ticked off to rattle off a list of beers. We just said, give us whatever IPA you have. When we asked about that on Reddit, and we'll get to that, people just jumped on us for, how dare we ask for IPAs at a dive bar? I'm sorry. If we don't want to order a Coors Light or a Miller Light, if she wants an IPA, be friendly about it. Don't be a jerk. I ordered a veggie burger. I get it. I'm at a chili place. It's a meat place, but I don't eat meat. I order a veggie burger. Whatever. She goes back to the cook. Within two minutes, she says, hey, we're out of the veggie burger. Looks at me, expecting I order something else, but 
She's already kind of made me pretty terrified to order from her. And I'm not a baby. I'm not a sissy. We order out a lot. We deal with everybody. But her attitude really turned me off. So I already told her I don't eat meat. You figure she would say, oh, well, how about the grilled cheese? And maybe she could tell me, oh, it's a joke. It doesn't cost this much money, which we found out online, apparently. The $58 grilled cheese is because their owner hated making it. So apparently they put it there, but it's only like 5 or $6. But how would you know when there's no smile? There's no explanation to that. Guess what? They lost money. I only ordered fries because I was terrified to ask, is the grilled cheese really $58 or are you pulling our legs here? So if you go to Mike's Chili Parlor, don't ask for an IPA. You'll get chastised for it. Don't ask for a grilled cheese because they won't tell you how much it really costs and they'll pretty much be a jerk about it. So I posted on Reddit, what's the deal with Mike's Chili Parlor in Ballard? Um, I went on and on but saying, not to review the food, but holy hell, the waitress or bartender is a miserable soul. Um, I explained myself in there, figuring, hey, maybe others experience this, but let's read the comments. These are, these are good ones. Nah, man. No one owes you a smile. That's just down rude and entitled, is it? Even in the industry. There are more than enough restaurants and bars that you can go into that force their workers to smile all the time. Find one of those and quit bitching on the internet, Karen. So apparently you can't complain about someone being miserable. And again, this is backed up by multiple people online. And I'll read those too, but can't complain. You can't force a smile. Okay. There's a big difference between hipster slumming dives and actual dives. There are very few of the latter left in Seattle and you found one. You went to there and asked about IPAs and got upset when they rolled their eyes. Oh my God. Effing LOL. That's them. At least you got your passive aggressive revenge by complaining about them on the internet. Haha. <laughs> and here. They don't know that yet. Because we asked about IPAs, we deserved everything that happened and more. Okay, that's normal. This is a great comment. Expecting service workers to smile anywhere for customers is a red flag in my opinion. Okay. We eat out a lot. We go to a lot of bars. You know, we probably shouldn't go to as many. But typically, they joke with you. They smile. They want you to come back. We didn't feel welcomed. And the internet, again, backs that up. So we had some people say, oh, come to other dive bars, and that's how they act. Well, no. We're at Patty's Hat Nail in Ballard. This place is fantastic. The dive bar, the wooden feel. And are they nice to us here? They're perfect, but yes, they're very nice to us here. They say hi, they smile to you. So let's be normal. One person somewhat backed me up here, but they got 11 down votes. Oh, no. There's a market for people who like to be served by surly people. They think it's authentic or something. I agree with that. So Google, they're a 4.2 star. So again, this wasn't just us. And typically when there is a concern at a restaurant or a place, it's fixed, but it's not addressed here. Tammy from three months ago, the waitress was super rude. My friend got in there. English, not our first language. I didn't understand one word and she talked to me like I was stupid. Um, I felt uncomfortable. We're not welcome back. Never coming back. So Tammy was not happy at all. And then we have Manuel. Food and location are good, and the price are reasonable, but the waitress taking care of us was in an awful mood. We wanted to stay late. I'm planning to come again, only if there's another server. Again, a comment on the server. This is a, a year ago. Three years ago. So the problem has existed. It's not changing, apparently. They say the food's good, but the female waitress is purposely rude and seems to put out if you're not a regular. My husband and I were shocked at how rude she was. For no other reason than we existed. Take the stick out of your honey. There's no reason to treat people the way you do. If you think it's cool or charming, think again, it's off-putting. Five months ago, I will not be going back. They're very rude to me and my friend. It's a shame I wanted to like this place. Five months ago. Rude, rude, rude. We got three rudes there. After being ignored for ten minutes, I was able to get the woman's attention as she was being as she was too busy to stop laughing and swearing loudly with her friends. I asked for ketchup and she replied, what? I asked again, she rolled her eyes, stomped to the fridge to grab the ketchup and slammed it on the table. It's bad customer service. Rude will not be returning. 17 hours ago, brand new. Disgusting. Don't know who owns this place or how they're in business. 
my wife makes better chili. <laughs> Again, not on the food, but the lady at the bar is rude unless you know her. The place is scary. I paid the price. Terrible. Um, so yeah, reviews going back three years to yesterday show there's a problem with the server. But obviously no one cares because it's charming, right? Because Reddit told me, hey, that's what's charming about dive bars. They treat you like a piece of poop. Here's Yelp from eight days ago. So this is, this is probably late January. Chili is great. Service stuck. Sucks. We've been there three times and each time we're made to feel uncomfortable by the main waitress since each time she was curt, surly, and rude. Save yourself a bad experience and just get some chili to go. That's kind of scary. Um, you don't hear that much. Curt, surly, and rude to speak about your server. Uh, nine months ago. This is from a Yelp elite. I know people will probably roll your eyes. Ugh, a Yelp elite. Well, okay, whatever. This place is an experience. Two stars. Um, upon arriving, the waitress was very rude, and in retrospect, she clearly didn't want us there. We sat down and placed her orders, but the waitress was very short and rude and made it seem like we're holding her in the kitchen back. We weren't impressed. The food was greasy. One star from four months ago. Again, recent reviews. We were so excited to try it. I'm a huge chili fan. Rudest waitress of all time. Not a good statement. Clearly, she didn't want us there. Chili was mediocre and lukewarm. They clearly don't want new customers. Not good. This from Nancy F. from six months ago. Again, the chili is okay. A little bit greasy. But, period, the, period, service, period. A lot of periods. Wow. I've never been treated nearly this horribly by someone in the service industry ever. From the instant we walked in, we were unwanted regulars. There were only two other tables of regulars who were shouting across to each other. Our server made it our, our server made it very obvious that we were not wanted. She didn't want us there. She was very rude. She threw our food at us and never came back. She went to the bar. Um, I don't care if you've been there, if you've been on TV or there a hundred years. Read the room. If you have an empty bar in Ballard, you're doing something wrong. These comments go on and on. This is from 2000, um, sorry, uh, 20, 2021. That's it. Okay, let me preface my review by saying that I absolutely hate writing nasty reviews. So do we. We don't write nasty reviews. Most places, if they're so-so, we're like, whatever, who cares? But based on tonight's horrendous, distasteful, inhospitable service, I will never spend my money there and not recommend it. I get it. Customer service isn't easy. I've worked in customer service for many years, but the woman who served us tonight made us feel extremely unwelcomed as servers. She gave a nasty attitude to us. Disgusting. Either way, yuck. After seeing other reviews, it looks like she's been a rude server for years. Good lord woman. She seems like the kind of person who doesn't mind giving shitty customer service, but God forbid she ever gets bad service. She'll be the first to rip the server a new one. Without that attitude, she's probably going to end up on YouTube one day. <laughs> Again, we didn't film her. We're not that rude. Um, and we we're terrified to have our camera out. But yeah, the reviews here. And these reviews go on and on and on. So what did we learn or find out about Mike's Chili Tavern Parlor in Ballard? It's an old school dive bar, but apparently you should never expect or anticipate service with a smile. And I think anticipate is the big thing or, you know, kind of assume you'll get a nice server. They're not nice. Internet reviews go back years saying this one server is a miserable soul. I have no problem saying that. If you read it, fix your attitude ASAP. We don't complain about anything. Seriously, we go to restaurant and bars, so, sometimes get mixed service, we get it. People have a bad day or something's going on in their life. Totally understood. But when reviews go back years saying that you scare customers, there are issues, you're not nice. People want to spend money. They're there to have a good time. Don't be a pain in the ass. Don't be rude. Don't be mean. For those who are going to say, oh my gosh, you're a Karen for complaining. Yes, I can complain. I can do what I want to do for this. And their food's fine, apparently. The internet says mixed reviews, the food's fine. So not about the place, but the service. Be nice, be a kind soul, and don't be a jerk. Hope you like this, and go birds. Next week's Super Bowl, go birds. Thanks for watching. We'll be back with more traveling or travel-esque videos sooner than later. And uh, hope you like it. Peace.